Boom. The cast awakens. The cast awakens. Oh, wow. <laughs> Anyways, we are here. All Oh, I almost said all geek. I almost pulled at you today uh, a couple podcasts ago, but... I don't know. The three the three amigos. The three amigos. I am Travis Snail. I am Dylan Muss. And I'm Taylor Field. <laughs> Let's not waste any time. We're here because the new Star Wars trailer dropped the final Star Wars trailer. Oh, it's the final one. That's what they say, yeah. There's only three. A, so a trilogy of trailers. Exactly. Nice. So that's what they say. It's the final trailer. We'll probably get a few more. I'm like, inclined to believe them then. <laughs> we'll find we'll get like a few more like tv spots and whatnot to like hype up like buy your tickets but we're not gonna get like anything to reveal this much story which truthfully well, let me ask you this dylan from watching all the trailers so far i don't remember the other two okay from watching <laughs> this trailer do you even know like what the story is no okay I don't we know don't who either. any We're, of the characters are. That's a, one thing I do like, that even the hardcore fans, we all have these suspicions and like theories that we're going to get into in a couple minutes, but I like that we're two months away from the movie, and we technically still not really know at all that it's about. Probably we, just like a bad guy who wants to kill a bunch of people, and then the good guys save the day. That's all we know that. right now, is there's a new bad guy, there's some old people coming back, there's some new people, and it's not directed by George Lucas, and so far those are like three positive things, so... Yeah. Anyways, what we're going to do right now... Taylor, you have any words before we start here? I'm just... This trailer had trailers for it. I mean, you're so that alone <laughs> says that it's already going to be a good trailer. I think that's a Disney standpoint, because they did that with Jungle Book this year. They did that with Marvel. Like, Disney really has they that. They did five-second trailers for the two-minute trailer? Yeah. Oh like, my Jungle gosh. Book, they just released them going through the forest. But anyways, not to waste time. Before everybody, if you haven't watch the trailer watch it and then come back we don't want to spoil you but like if you haven't watched by now you live under a rock like i don't know what's happening like it's everywhere like people that i never even knew watch movies are talking if you've about been on movie. our page you've seen that the yeah trailer has been i feel made. like if you've been on any page i feel like if you've been on Susie's shop homemaker has been like oh guess what like <laughs> they do sell toasters but so we've already watched it we're gonna dissect it here in a minute but just from the first thing like just as a trailer alone We'll go, what do you feel about it so far? Like, Dylan, good trailer, bad trailer? Like, how are oh, you feeling? It's definitely building some hype. Yeah, <laughs> definitely building some hype. <laughs> yes. Uh, it, it was perfect. It captured my <laughs> heart, like childhood and heart from the original trilogy and just boom. Yeah. I feel like all the trailers have been really good at doing that. They really make you connected to your childhood. This trailer wasn't like the first two, which to be honest, almost made me cry. This definitely like amped up. Actually, the second one I did cry. (laughs) This one like totally amped up like, okay, there's danger. Like this felt more of a dark side trailer of like, hey, this is the threat. They're going to come up and they're going to mess stuff up. So I'm the same as you. I loved it. Um, We're all going to the uh, the movie, like all of us bought our tickets immediately after. So that'll be a fun podcast after. But yeah, I feel like once again, it's one of these things that everybody seems to be hyped about people that you don't even think would like star wars are like oh yeah i'm going opening night or oh yeah i'm going to see it as soon as possible so but anyways what we're going to get into right now we're going to as we've done with our kind of star star cast <laughs> of our star wars um <laughs> review <sued>. commentary <laughs> tracks we're kind of doing a semi-commentary track for the trailer now the trailer is technically only two minutes and 36 seconds yet somehow this podcast will likely last an hour so <laughs> here we go so We'll start with this right now and just go with the first shots. We have notes and whatnot written down, but they'll they'll play into what we got going on. So here we got the following audiences. <laughs> you don't gotta give them the green thing. So obviously this is uh, Ray. Now you think she's in that um, that Star Destroyer? Why do I never remember the name? So you think she's in that Star Destroyer that crashed, right? Yeah, she's obviously scavenging. I'm pretty yeah. Sure. What is, do you think she's scavenging, or do you think... Well, I think it's probably a bit of both. She's probably pretty curious, too, right? Like, just... Because yeah, her character seems to probably. be, like, interested in the past and whatnot. But, like, what would she think she could scavenge? I think that thing's been there for, like, 20 years or 30 years, so... It's been there for, yeah, about 30 years. Because that's on Jakku, and Jakku happened right after yeah. the Battle of Endor by, like, a few years. So I would feel like everything to be scavenged would be scavenged out of that she's probably just checking it out that's that's what i'm thinking but either way she's she's ready to go so there she's i almost called tatooine there she walking jack who with bb8 um what is coming after this now what is that when that ship takes off i don't know like (laughs) 
Hang on. So that's to be determined. Sec. Pause it for a sec. Like, what if that ship was going near the Star Destroyer, and that's why she ventured out there to explore and see what was going on? Because she was looking at it like, yeah, like what the. And that does look like you know the one part where they look up and or she looks up with BB-8, and you see the ships, the Imperial ships flying over. Well, that ship does kind of look like one of them. Oh, now wait a second. What are in the third movie, or sorry, the sixth movie? What are Luke and Vader on? And the Emperor on. Are they on, like, a Star Destroyer when they're having their big fight? No, that's the Death Star 2. It's on the Death Star 2? Mm -hmm. But don't they blow it up before Luke gets them off the... No, Luke gets off in the uh, Tidarian shuttle with the, the point and the two Oh, rings. right. Okay. No. Okay, because it comes in a little bit later when he finds Vader's mask. We'll get to that, but that's what I was thinking. Maybe that Vader's mask was in that Star Destroyer, but I was no. I thinking, yeah, but yeah. It, it doesn't have to have gone to Endor or something, unless Luke put the remains somewhere else but here's another thing we'll bring up obviously you've seen the trailer you know vader's helmet's coming up and we've seen it before didn't he burn that with vader's body mm -hmm. so like how did that come in kylo ren's possession i, I, I <laughs> that, no it's idea. a really cool how did, what happened to it again because darth dies yeah. and then they do the classic jedi he like gives him like the fire burial like he like sets darth vader's body on fire and it goes mm -hmm. like whatever so this movie is 30 years later from that yeah. and kylo ren has darth vader's helmet mm. so like that I, is pretty spooky all this time that like it's been a really cool shop and now that i'm thinking about the logic of it i don't really know how it works out well Maybe, it's probably a pretty durable helmet so it, you know, it's probably <laughs> it is 30 years later though so you would think i don't know like so now we're getting our first shot, of, our second shot of like the Nazi first order, pretty first much. Order, like that's yeah. pretty much what they are. They make it. There's very, like, huge Nazi symbolize symbolisms and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Now this is the thing you've been talking about. You want to talk about Finn drops the line that he was born or he was raised to do to, this. To do one. What thing. do you think about this? Because you were talking to me about this last night. Well, I, I think he was definitely raised and brought up as just kind of, like. I feel like the galaxy is very, very divided, like, because they don't, obviously this, I won't talk about much, but they don't know about Jedi or the Force, but I mean, even, like, Rey there, like, she's trying to find answers and stuff, so I feel like they don't, everyone's kind of, like, not sure what's going on, and I feel like he, like, maybe he was brought up in a, the kind of area where the, uh, First Order still has control, and he was brought up and raised as a stormtrooper, and that's all he knew, he didn't know about anything else, and then you have Rey, who's brought up on the Outer Rim, who doesn't know anything else like that, and you got the Resistance, and... Yeah, because I find it a really, and obviously we'll find out when the movie comes up, but I find it really, like, kind of strange line, like, I would understand if a Jedi said, like, oh, I was raised to do this, but for him being a stormtrooper, I was raised to do that, like... It does make me wonder, like, what his life and backstory is. Like, obviously, we will find out, but it's kind of, it because I think out of almost all the things, like, you could have, like, a pod race, you have a Jedi, even people, like, that were in the Resistance or the the Rebels, like, I feel like you would be raised to do this, but I didn't feel like the Stormtroopers were, like, the cool guys to raise kids up to be like that, because I felt like you were just kind of, like, evil people and evil doers. Well, that's probably what they had to resort to, because they lost a lot of their resources. Yeah, that's true. So now, after that... Do you think, this is what people are speculating with Finn, do you think he's trying to escape the First Order when he's off in that TIE fire and he got shot down? Do you think he's trying to escape or do you think he's on a mission? Well, in the hangar when he pulls his uh, helmet off, like, obviously something's going wrong. So he that TIE fighter that's spinning around shooting and mm -hmm. the stormtroopers are running, I think he's in that TIE fighter and I think they, like, he smashes in a few things and that's when it's spiraling out of control down below. And you think he's trying to escape, though? Like I think now there? he's trying to escape. I think something happened. Which does, it does kind of make sense. The second trailer, it showed a TIE fighter in there. Didn't it show it in the hangar, like, yeah, shooting Yeah, and it was spinning around shooting yeah. stuff. Yeah, and I mean, it makes sense because they're obviously hunting him because the TIE fighters go down to find him on the planet. But he he meets Ray and Han maybe Solo. that's what that ship is. Maybe maybe they maybe. are coming down to look for Finn. Yeah, maybe. Boom! Figure it out. First problem <laughs> done. I legit think that's it because if they're looking for this, like, like no pun intended, like rebel stormtrooper, like. I would th that makes sense that a ship comes down and if, in Jakku it makes it seem like it's kind of like the slum yeah. so you'd be like why is this huge ship coming down you know I think A New Hope can kind of foreshadow a lot of this too because I mean oh, you yeah. look, like they were looking for C-3P and R2-D2 and they went down to this like mm. planet that the Empire had no point of going to and that's the same here Finn went to this planet 
and the Empire has no point of going there, but they're trying to find that person, like they yeah. were trying to find R2-D2 and C-3PO. And maybe he knows something, and that's why he doesn't want to be a stormtrooper anymore, because, mm-hmm. like, obviously he's, like, probably, what, late 20s, so if he was raised to do this, he's at least been a stormtrooper for, like, 20-some-odd years, so it's like, he had to be all fine with it for a while, at least, right? And then now something's come up, so... His dad was Mace Windu, <laughs> getting revenge. <laughs> <laughs> the Emperor killed my dad. You still with us, Dylan? You got any questions so far? Um, you you can act as the guide for the, the the normal people that are hyped but are not like. Sure. So this guy, what's his name again? Sorry. Which guy? The the main the character. Guy that we're Finn. Talking. Why would they care if like just one guy is off? That's my question. <laughs> That's why I think maybe he's found something up big. So maybe they have a plan. He, he's got to have some importance to them I don't know it yeah. seems weird that like they would go hunting for him for just one yeah unless yeah. Kylo figures out that he's force sensitive and maybe it kind of freaks him out what do you, what but, do you mean by that like, like he like, has the force that, but, he's, that he has that ability but I don't think so because they make it seem like he they, wants to leave a, on him like by himself like he discovers something that makes him leave right like he would discover he like I have the force got, got something like that maybe I don't think so because I don't think he would run I think because he wouldn't know, right? And especially because the fourth, it seems like at this point, is like still a myth. Well, what if he knows that he has it, but he's just kind of kept it like on the barn, like not worrying about it, not being open to it, and then maybe he sees them find someone who is force sensitive, and maybe he sees them do something bad. Maybe, but in the trailer, he makes it sound like that everything he's believed in with this first order is gone. Like he makes it sound like, oh, like I, this is all I've been doing this my whole life, and now this happened, and I don't want to do it anymore. Because he says I have nothing to believe in, so I don't think it's the Force. And the other thing is, I don't know for sure if Finn is has the Force. To I be think, honest, I think he does. Like I, I don't know does. because we can wait till we get to the end. But he does not have that Force touch when he's fighting Kylo Ren. I think he might be a red herring. And maybe Ray, the girl, has the Force. But they, I think they both could have the Force, but I think Ray for sure 100% has it. I don't know about Finn, but I think Ray has it for sure. I think Finn is kind of like Luke Skywalker when he fought Darth Vader in Episode Five. True. True. We'll see. Anyway, so now we're moving on to Kylo Ren, which you think obviously is them testing out the new Death Star right here? Yeah, well, I heard that it destroys that solar systems, or star systems. That sucks. And it's, uh, it's not <laughs> actually, uh, it's apparently their planet. Oh, it's their home planet. Oh yeah, it is because it's on an ice planet, right? I forgot about that. Yeah, so now the Death Star is not just a ship; it is a uh, planet now. Oh, okay. They just took over no, a planet. It's essentially a planet. Yeah, anyway. well, yeah. That doesn't look like a that's planet. no moon. <laughs> that's a robot planet. planet. <laughs> <laughs> and then now we get our shot of Kylo Ren, which we talked about a little bit off the cast just a moment ago. I'm not a fan of him without the hood because I think he looks like a duck. His like eyes look cool, but. Uh, why do we not even have this full screen? Darth Duck. D- Darth <laughs> Duck. Like, I don't know. How do you feel about... Like, he does look like a duck. Look at that. Like, he has, like, the bill of it. Like, I think he looks pretty cool. He still looks cool, but it... Without the hood, I feel like it takes a little bit of it away. Like, it's... I don't know. It's, I'll have to... This is only the first shot of it like this. So I'll have to wait till he's uh, in motion. I but, think his helmet is very classic. Like, if you look at... Um, that, um, the Old Republic, like, if their trailers, like, the Sith... Yeah. The Sith, like... A, Acolytes, their helmets look very, very similar to his. Yeah. And now this whole little, like, monologue, which you're not going to hear, but you've seen it, is when he's talking about, um, we'll start up here, when he's talking to Vader's helmet and he's saying that he's going to finish what he started, I think this is what they're talking about of, like, this is not your average villain. He's not just like, hey, we're just going to go destroy, destroy these planets. Like, obviously he has a moral code, and that's why I brought up the tale the other night. People keep talking about that he's in this Knights of Ren, but I think he secretly is... He's with these Knights of Ren, but he secretly feels like he's a Sith. Like, he wants to follow those ways, and especially if the rumors have been going around that he's, like, a Darth Vader fanboy, I could see him, like, oh, I'll work with these Knights, but almost to get my own way. Well, I'm pretty like, sure he's the leader of the Knights of Ren. Yeah. Well then, that then he can definitely get his own. Yeah, hey, I mean he could he could dub himself a Sith Lord because there's no there's no one else. But that's why this is the problem. Then why doesn't he? Because at first they made it sound like the Ren up until this trailer we didn't get a sense if he was the leader or not. They just made it sound like oh there's this group called Ren and he's a part of it. So I thought oh well I guess that's the new Sith. But if he's the leader, why didn't he just do the Sith? Maybe thing? he just doesn't feel like he's earned it until he finishes what vader or he wants to make like started. his own path of like Maybe. take vader thing but like stand out because he wants to be somewhat like that's what i like about this villain it's not just 
hey, I want to destroy these planets. Like, there's stuff already in a few little, like, scenes and whatnot that you know there's some motivation there, obviously. And now to the, I guess probably the big question, uh, we've talked about this on other casts, you think he's related to the Skywalker some way, whether it's Luke's... Um, I don't think it's Luke's kid anymore. For a while I did, no. but I think it's Han and Leia's. I think so, too. I'm definitely feeling more and more like Rey... And Ray and Kylo Ren are the twins. I don't. I, f- I feel like they are because I mean I could see why Han Solo would eventually meet up with Ray. I'm sure they probably keep in contact, and maybe Han Solo just kept that information like withheld from them, and especially because um, maybe they like I don't know. Maybe the kids could have been separated at birth, and like something kind of I don't know. I uh, see. I I I just don't see it. I, for a while, I thought. They were going to be the twins, but the way they show Rey in this trailer, she's completely off on her own. And you look at Han and Leia, they're wearing, like, the nice clothing. They're on another, like, nicer planet. You would think they'd be with their daughter. Like, for you, Dylan, the girl, Rey, does it look like she's affiliated with the original cast? Because to me, it looks like she's just I think off she, doing her she own She looks thing. like she could fit in. I think so. No, but I mean, like, do you think she's, like, connected with them, or do you think they're just meeting her in this movie? Like, we're... I don't think she's connected with them where he thinks that could be their daughter. That's what I'm saying. Like, Well, where, you, where are you saying that Han, Han Solo's hanging out? Where are they? We don't know, but they look like on a nice planet. They're not on the sand... They're not on Jakku. Yeah. Like, we'll get a couple shots of them later, but they're... I don't know, and I just feel like... Maybe that's where she wanted to go, though. That'd be kind of weird. I just feel like, because she wouldn't, she'd be ultra-rich, and she looks kind of poor, right? So why would she look poor? Maybe she pieced out. She didn't want to be... Maybe, but then we'll get into a shot later where they're on the ship, and it looks like she's meeting Han for the first time, where you just think they've been apart, but I think they're meeting for the first time. I don't know, because it looks like she... It looked like she was just, like interviewing Han and just saying like I want I want the truth and you could see the look on Han's face he was just like okay here it is like the dark side and the Jedi are real now how about about this one we're skipping ahead but how do you feel especially because he would fit the mold what if Poe and um what is it? Kylo are the twins the two boys even though it's not boy and girl if you look at the two actors they look similar they have both dark hair and if Sorry, you think Poe again Poe is the guy that's been the X-Wing and whatnot. like he's kind of the third one he'll be coming up here okay. he has like dark hair but like if you think about it, in the dark hair he kind of looks like Han and he is he's like what he's a he's an X-Wing pilot and that would make sense if he'd want to follow in his father's and uncle's footsteps so at first I thought it was Rey and Kylo but now I'm thinking it might be Poe and Kylo, especially that scene where he's taking him over. Well, he, what if Poe is Luke's child? Maybe that maybe that's why Kylo has such a huge like interest in Poe. I think that's a good case, point, but I think I just feel like Luke doesn't have any children. I feel like he's just been in hiding since like the last movie. Maybe he was around for a couple of years, but because we've seen nothing from him in any trailers or posters, I legitimately think he's just been off being Obi Wan. Like has nothing going on. So, for a while, I thought it was his kids, but I don't think he has any kids anymore. What's your over and under on Luke Why and kids? Why do you think there's a set of twins? Because they... It's just pure, like, fan writing, but, like, Luke and Leia were twins, right? Yeah. And then, in the books, um, was uh, Han and Solo Han, had... Han, Solo, oh, Han and Leia. Solo. Han and Leia also had twins, so it's, like, genetic. Mm-hmm. Oh. So... Yeah. Once again, the books, they're saying that they will take stuff, but they're not going to fall. So it's just us hoping that there's twins and following the thing. But it's just a speculation that there could be twins. It could be... I, There could be twins, but truthfully now, I th- the Poe is just like a theory of mine. But truthfully, I think that Kyle Ren might just be the only Skywalker soul, which I don't want. I want one of the kids to be good mm-hmm. and then one to be bad. I don't like if all the new main characters are not any of the kids. So that's why I'm thinking Poe would be a good... Fit because Finn is obviously not anybody. I thought he could he could have been Luke's, but he's not because obviously he was a stormtrooper. Ray is questionable because like she could have connection, but we can't tell from this trailer. I don't think so because she looks kind of poor. And then the only one is Poe, which they don't give any backstory. He's just a pilot, right? So that would fit. So that's just my like theory there. Do you have anything else before I go mm. ahead? If you, I don't know. I just I mean I could definitely see Leia. What staying do you think of this like whole twin senator. thing? general you think it's kylo and ray the girl you think i think so like i just like i i don't like leia obviously has to stay in like the richie rich areas mm-hmm. han solo and ray they could go off and do whatever they want yeah and ray could be like her father like a like a free spirit like go out there just my thing is like just because she kind of looks poor that's my only mm-hmm. thing like why like we talked about if she's 
rich, why is she scavenging, right? Well, maybe she's trying to find the truth when... and Because maybe Han Solo and Leia just didn't tell her. True. Maybe she looks poor because she's just on some dirty planet doing dirty things. That's... Well, you should rephrase this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so here we go. Now, this Which is mean? a scene that I brought up to Taylor that I think is very controversial. It's Poe. He's always been captured and whatnot. And he's locked up, and uh, it's... Do you need me to go back, or you got it, or... No, I just... I can't really see the screen. Oh, here, I'll, I'll move it, I'll so move his it. So face Is that better? Yeah. That's okay. Good. So it's Poe, he... That's Poe, this guy. Okay. He's locked up somehow, like he's chained, and then Kylo Ren, the evil Sith, or Dark Ren, whatever he's gonna yes. go by, yeah. he's like... Doing weird doing stuff, stuff to him. Torturing him. Now, at first, Three you thought night. it was just torture to last night, but I brought up that I think he's turned him to the dark side, and I think, especially if he is, like, with my theory, that's why, it's one of these <laughs> things with, with my theory, it's, I think with all of our theories, if one thing's wrong, then it's like, oh, shit, my whole theory is wrong. Because if, like, he's not Han's or Leia's kid, it's like, okay, my theory is completely wrong. But if he was Kylo's brother, he could also have the Force in him, right? Mm -hmm. But then I think that's a bit overkill of, like, having two Skywalkers be forced, but maybe, we don't know, maybe he could try and turn the dark side in the scene and it doesn't work, right? Like, this could be him trying. So, that's my thing of, like, I do think, though, whether he's a relative of the Skywalker Soul Clan, I do think he might have some force and he's trying to turn them. Because I talked about this Taylor last night, which, I don't know why I keep saying that, because none of you are in our Facebook chat, but that's okay. <laughs> in Knights of Old Republic, uh, Bastila was, like, the main... She was the main Jedi that was, like, leading, like, their Fellowship of the Ring kind of in the game. And she got kidnapped, and they tortured her to the point where she did turn dark the next time he bumped in her. And she was, like, the lightest of the light, like, couldn't even turn. Like, she was the greatest, like, nicest Jedi in the world. Like, no way you turn her. And they had her for, like, a week, and that's all they did to her was, like, emotional torturing and physical and all that. And then he bumped her, she was completely dark, couldn't get, like, you could turn her eventually if you did a certain thing. But, like, that's what I'm saying, that this could be that, and... Do you agree with that, or you think that's... Uh, that could be a possibility, at least, right? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, if Luke did ever have a kid, like, again, like, that's where this this could come together, where Kylo's torturing Poe to get to figure out where yeah. Luke is. Which or, we have a theory about that later. Yeah, yeah, if he's not Luke's kid, and he is Force-sensitive, then, yeah, I see what you're, what you're saying. He's torturing him to try and turn him, or he's just purely torturing him just to be an ass. Yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> he could just be messing with him. Because my only thing is, and we look quickly at the next shot, it shows a plant getting destroyed, and like you were talking about last night, like people getting turned emotionally to the dark side. And you think about Anakin, I was saying like he had the dreams of his mother dying, and what if that's Kylo like putting images in the head like, hey, like your plant's going to die if you don't follow me. Like He's almost tricking him. Like, mm -hmm. oh, if you don't turn to the dark side, this is what's going to happen. Like You want to come with me? Cause, that makes a lot of sense. Actually. Yeah, so that's why, because the only reason why, at first I saw it, I'm like, oh, it could be turning, but right when they show that, shot right away of like the thing blowing up it's kind of like okay like i don't think it's a coincidence but that's the thing with these trailers it's it's a lot of well i think that's i think that's true because like even in the clone wars um you know the bounty hunter cad bane he was blue with the cowboy hat yeah yeah um they the jedi captured him and they were torturing him by uh getting into his mind and basically like the Jedi? The Jedi, like the good Jedi? They, they they needed to find out the location of they these. They tortured him? They tortured him. And it was it was with a good reason. But I bet Qui-Gon was in on this. I know <laughs> he was dead, was. but he was probably the ghost because he's a Sith. <laughs> God. <laughs> um, but yeah, they tortured him to, to find the um, location of these kids, four sons of kids or any, something like that. But yeah, they were in... It was uh, Obi-Wan, Mace Windu, and Anakin, and they were all using the Force to get inside his mind and torture him, and it really started to drive him nuts to the point where you, like, your mind would be broken. So, I mean, obviously, Kylo's doing something like that. Either way, whatever it is, it's a great creepy scene, and that's the one thing that I love about this, that they kind of did with Darth Maul, but let's be honest, it was just his look. No one's had that presence in the Star Wars universe since Vader, of that threatening, very scary, just... Or about him, that's what Kylo does have. And all these scenes that you see him, you're kind of like, you don't want to mess with this motherfucker. Like, he looks scary. And, like, even then, even if he could just be torturing him just for, like, whatever, because he's, like, someone's friend, mm -hmm. you know? So, Dylan, you have any thoughts before we move no. on? No? Go okay. Ahead. So, now we got just shots of Millennium, Millennium, Millennium Falcon flying through Jakku. Now, this is where you could be right. He could be going to get Rey, because he is on Jakku, right? So, that's where you could be right. Could be his daughter. We get our first look at Han Solo in this first... Um, he doesn't look too well-dressed. He looks like he's been out making I, the Kessel Run. The Kessel Run, <laughs> I guess. But, like, he has a leather jacket. He has a dress shirt. Like, I'm just saying, like, he's, like... 
normally dressed and she's dressed like Luke from the first one where it's like hey we barely have enough money use these rags that we literally clean the pod racers with like <laughs> that's what it looks like and at this point obviously at some point Ray and Finn have like met up and they're like budding around right now which I think they will be a romantic couple like obviously we think they're not related so I think they will be romantically linked so and yeah that's our first shot of Harrison Ford in this trailer and yeah I like um, we'll play the True. clip here for us yeah all of it it's great that you're getting this character development of you go to the first star wars and he didn't believe in the force at all he thought it was a joke he thought it was a complete joke when ben kenobi brought up to him like no like any like if he brought up god to an atheist that's what was bringing up to han solo about the force like that's not real and now it's not even like uh like obviously he can't say no because he <laughs> loses his brother-in-law so he knows it's real but like he's not even like yeah it's real like he's completely bought into it he's sold like yeah the force is real and whatnot and this is where he, you and i got into a bit last night when he's talking about the jedi are real i just take that as like the thing as a jedi is real like it could be true i don't think he's talking about like a bunch of jedi no i, I don't think so either no. okay because last night i thought you were talking about there was a council I'm like no no no, no like no, no, i no. think he's just no. saying like the idea of a jedi or becoming jedi even if luke was dead saying like oh a jedi that's real like you could become that so okay yeah no that's i agree like the jedi there's no jedi council they're on no. Coruscant or anything um um <laughs> no i definitely agree like he's it's exactly what, like, even when you look back at A New Hope with Han Solo saying, I haven't seen anything like this whole powerful force, that's what Darcy, that's what Palpatine wanted. Like, he wanted him to have that power and all that knowledge. He wanted everyone else to just kind of forget about it and, yeah. just, and succumb to their empire, his empire. And so, it seemed, and obviously, Luke realized, like, you, the way to have balance is to not have any Jedi, because as long as there's Jedi, some of them are going to lose themselves and become Sith. Like, there's just going to be that... Um, that ba- unbalanced because that's what's been going on for like 10,000 years that as long as it's been Jedi there's always been Sith and all that stuff so he's that's why he's gone into hiding and they've just let that whole but just speculation story turn into myth you don't know for sure if that's why I think that's I'm a good reason I'm pretty confident because even when it says the name is The Force Awakens and obviously this guy Kylo Ren who looked into Vader and is obsessed with him is trying to uh, be like him in a sense, it's trying to look into the force. But do you think Ren just trained himself, or do I you think, think so? See, I think Luke, if it's his, if it's his nephew, and they are like, hey, he has the force. I think he maybe could have started training. I've talked about this before, and then sensed, hey, yeah. something's wrong with Kylo. We should stop training him. And of course, he would get really mad. And he would think about like his past, and Anakin's the same thing. They got really mad for not getting trained quick enough, and like it would fit because like. That would be his grandfather, right? So it would fit, like, kind of the genetics of that, too, of, like, kind of being a, a whiny brat, which I hope Kylo Ren doesn't look like a whiny brat. He's like, oh, hold my back. Like, I just think, like, <laughs> he's going to get mad that maybe Luke at one point says, you know what, I can't train you anymore. Like, he doesn't have to. And then that happens. Maybe he... And the other reason why I think, let, let's say, if it, if he is Luke... And or if he is Han and Leia's kid, which I think so, I think he's faked his death at this point, and I think that's why he has the mask. Because it's kind of one of these things we've seen a picture, and then at the end of this trailer, spoiler, at the end of this trailer, he has his mask off. But the whole move, uh, it looks like the whole movie is gonna have his trailer on. I think that snow his battle, trailer on <laughs> his helmet on. <laughs> I think that snow battle is like right before the third act or like the last battle of the movie. So. I think he may have faked his death after that, and that's why Han and Leia don't know. Because I feel like it's kind of weird if they just know their son is uh, just the big Sith Lord. Like, I'm calling him Sith Lord, but whatever. Let's say he is just a, like he, he's the big Sith. He's the big bad guy. I feel like it's kind of weird if they know and they're probably thinking, oh, it's just a phase. Oh, well, God. yeah, like I feel like it's kind <laughs> of like I don't know, and I feel like they would have gone to Luke and be like, hey, this is happening. This is Kylo, but I feel like in the way that it's keeping with the original trailer or trilogy, like you said, it feels like this one feels a lot like it could have tones of the first one. That's where this can have tones of the second one, where it's kind of like, oh, who's Kylo Ren? And then like the big reveal, like that's my son. Like it's the reverse. So that's why I think he's faked his death or he's disappeared or something. Like they don't know their son is trying to destroy the universe or like whatever he feels like rule of the universe. So I feel like, do you feel like that's a good like? I think that's that yeah. he's probably. 
faked his death or disappeared, and they just think like, oh, we've lost a son. Mm-hmm. So I could, yeah, I could see him getting angry with Luke and if, just yeah. going into like his own exile kind of thing and coming back with his Knights of Ren, yeah, and joining the uh, First Order. And maybe Luke didn't even train him. Maybe Ren did start to teach himself, and then he went to Luke like, hey, you should teach me more because I'm like, what? maybe he's just doing like the little stuff, like he's levitating stuff like that, or he's having like the dream stuff like that or the force push anything and maybe he has that sense he's like hey you should train me i'm becoming this and luke would be like no like because he sent something that's why oh, there's so much good stuff happens in this movie like well hopefully but like it seems like it so dylan you have anything to add for the the, the normie side no you can move on no okay so now our first shot of obviously the knights of ren which it looks like obviously he's the only jedi but do you think it's like a lot of just bounty hunters or highly skilled well they all got the same like nazi motorcycle helmets <laughs> um, the one guy this guy has, has like a like almost like a sword yeah and, he's and then got he a has hood. a gun I think and he has a, a hood predator in the back there. yeah like the like there's a lot of different looks here so you to think that he's like what's your theory on the night's run because i don't really have any i just kind of feel like it's a crew he's like like obviously he's put together, but like you seem to have more of a theory about the Knights of Ren and whatnot. Like, what well, do you think? It's this definitely, is? it's definitely his own little order that he's put together. Kind of like you have like your own, like the bounty hunters have their own kind of organization. You got the Jedi Council. This is obviously like his own council. I think like to him, these guys are probably like he treats them like his brothers, kind of in a sense. I and think true. If he's looking at the old Jedi ways, he could be almost trying to do a new council, right? Like, that kind of makes sense. And the red, he could just have that not because he thinks he's a Sith, but because he's just paying homage to his grandfather. This movie completely blows if this guy's not related at all. Like, it doesn't blow, but it's like, if he's not anybody's so, son... Fan boy. Like, yeah, if he's not uh, Han or Leia's son or Luke's son, it's completely like, well, that sucked, because there was months and months of speculation, which the other speculation, if anybody you still think that's Luke, give it up. Luke is not Kylo Ren. Like, that's still going around the internet right now. It's not Kylo Ren. Give it up. They've shown pictures of Adam Driver. He's play- He said, I'm playing Kylo Ren. Give it up. Drop the theory. It's... Oh, it's just know, so sounds annoying. pretty plausible. Oh, stop <laughs> <laughs> You heard it here first. Kylo Ren is Luke. But anyway, so what is the um, what is the captain's guys again? I can't remember. Uh, Dom- Dominic Gleeson's playing him. He's one of my favorite actors. But who's there's this guy? There's Captain Plasma, and who is he playing? Captain Plasma. Oh, it's Captain Phasma. Phasma. Sorry, Captain Phasma. But then there's the guy. He's the ginger. Uh, like they said, Dominic Gleeson. He's playing like. Is Jar Jar in this movie? No, he's not in this movie. What? Go- uh, Dominic Dom. Dom Hall. Dom Hall. Anyways, you know who I'm talking about, right? He's like. General Smoke or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Smoke. Oh, now yeah. I think him and <laughs> Cap- these are some I think bad names. I, I kind of agree. Smoke and Captain Phasma. Phasma. But in the way it kind of fits with the original trilogy, right? Like it feels like you'll we'll, you'll see when we watch those. But like, I feel like Smoke and Phasma are running the First Order. Do you feel smoke. like they know about the Knights of Ren, or do you feel like this is his secret thing? Well, you, they definitely are working with the Knights of Ren. I mean, like even at the beginning. But of the But we trailer. don't see that though. We just always see him. Even in that Stormtrooper invasion, it's him, all the Stormtroopers, and Captain Phasma. We've never seen this group with the First yeah, Order. Yeah, but what about the picture of uh, Kylo Ren walking again with the Snowtroopers? But and those then are again just on the fiery planet with Stormtroopers. But those stormtroopers could just be still stormtroopers, true too, right? Like stormtroopers had different attires, right? Really? I feel like the Knights of Ren always look like this, like those. Oh, I think they always look like that. But yeah. that's what I mean. Like the sn- the snow. I feel like those snowtroopers are aligned with the First Order. Like I feel like I think the snowtroopers that is the First Order. That's... Yeah, but I that's what I'm saying. I'm wondering if these the First Order like we like I was saying that maybe he's working with the first order but his vader complex is he's secretly like doing stuff that they don't know kind of like in the force unleashed with vader how he had the secret apprentice right and also that's not canon but i just feel like i because they keep saying he's not a clear-cut villain where captain smoke feels like he is like he feels like he's gonna be like the whole like take over the world destroy this planet where he feels like he has these goals and that's why it's like I have the first... I'm working with the First Order, but then in my back pocket, I have these Knights of Ren that when I want to take over, you know, the same way as Vader, he, like, in stuff that's not canon anymore, but he was always trying to overthrow Palpatine, right? Even though he's working with them the whole time, he was always trying to get one under the... Even at the... Well, it's canon. He was still trying to convince Luke to kill the Emperor with him so they could rule the galaxies. That's why I feel like... 
he could have this in his back pocket, like, hey, like, I got these Knights of Ren, so when I want to do something, we'll take over. It's just a theory. It depends how This whole he, thing, this whole podcast is a theory. It depends how he acts. Like, if he plays, like, in, like, Clone Wars, the Darth Maul card or the Sidious card, where he decides just to kind of sneak, like, he worms his way in, and then he just rises up through the uh, ranks, like, through the power and getting up, getting up to the top and then taking over the whole organization, or even if he decides to, like, maybe this is his council in a sense as we talked about earlier like in the republic the old republic had the jedi council that worked alongside the clones mm-hmm. and maybe that's this too like as you said maybe that's his council working alongside the first order yeah it'll be interesting to see that's why like you know obviously you'll get all these answers in the movie but anyway so it's them. i think i think they're double agents you think they're double that's agents? my prediction <laughs> move on Okay, <laughs> so then just a bunch of good shots of space battles, whatnot. Now here's a <laughs> shot that well, it is you can't dissect that. On um, the shot that I, no, I'm uh, so, oh, oh right, <laughs> someone brought to my attention. I brought Taylor's been gone to it more, and it's just to go with my theory. And I kind of got to it in a minute that maybe something's up. There's a scene where it's Poe and Finn, and they walk past each other, and Poe was really happy. And he gives him the shoulder, and he's just kind of like, "Hey, what's going on, buddy?" He walks by, and he's looking finally going off the battle. But when you look at Finn, he turns and he's like, something's wrong with him. Like, that's why I think there's a chance that Wait, he could have go. Been... Um, can you maybe go back like three seconds? Was that guy. I want to see his expression. Pose? Um, yeah. Yeah. He looks like he's just doing his job. And I think if he's the dark side and a double agent, maybe he's just playing it off like, oh, yeah, like. See, like, he just hmm. kind of has like a, yeah, I'm doing this sort of. I gave you credit. Don't worry. <laughs> but then <laughs> I, I gave you the credit but then yeah he's looking at him like something's wrong maybe with him. he told him something maybe he was like but he didn't if you look he doesn't say anything news, he just buddy. he just hits him like maybe he told him something before maybe but you don't think he's looking at him suspiciously in this shot I think he's like looking past him like onwards to you coming. said you <laughs> thought he might look sus- you said in the chat he looked a little suspicious oh he at does him. he does like he looks like what do you think Dylan like pure like I'm thinking that that uh, Poe, Poe was like, yo, you gotta watch out. There's some something on the horizon that you don't like. I don't think so because I he's looking so. at him like I don't trust this guy anymore. That's how I see it. So mm. a lot of guys in white. Did you want to add coming. something? Mm-hmm. What? The Force is awakening in him, and he's sensing the dark side from the other guy. Maybe. Hmm. I feel he's already dark at this point, but... Yeah, but he's now sensing it because he's just getting the Force. The Force is awakening. Ooh. Either way, I feel like he knows something's up. Something's going on right now. We'll go on, but yeah, that's... So you... Oh, what do you actually feel like? Because you gave a joking answer. What do you feel like? Do you feel like something is going on there, or are we reading too much in that? I, I feel like there really wasn't anything on his face to give it away, you know? I feel like he was looking at... I him. mean on Poe's face. Like, I don't know what... But if Poe's like a double agent, what if he's on the dark side and Ren sent him back like, hey, you just pretend everything's okay. I don't think they put him in an X-Wing and sent him off to fight that fast if they he was captured and then... I think but if it's in the heat time. of the battle, if the First Order is coming down on us... I don't think so. The Resistance obviously has the upper hand. They took down the Death Star and all that. I mean, that I think they... Uh, I don't think they... But then what if it's like our secretary said, and what if that... <laughs> Ren thing doesn't happen. What if Finn just senses, oh, he may have something too, but then when Kylo bumps into I think, him... I think Poe just said a racist slur. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god, that's awful. Who would but, make that joke? So, <laughs> but I just want to say, like, like we already passed the Millennium Falcon going through hyperspace, but this scene here, like... Looks great? Yeah, it looks great. Like, in the originals, like, the TIE Fighter, like... It's a TIE Fighter's an excellent Yeah, fighting. like, the originals, the TIE Fighter just explodes, but that, you can see the laser hit part of the wing, and then the other part of the wing, and then just, boom, it just looks beautiful. And then, when you, um, if you haven't seen this, lots of people have pointed out online. I actually didn't see it until I pointed out online, but have you seen that Boba Fett, um, Easter egg? No. If you pause it at the part when, um, it's Finn and Han Solo... And uh, that red ro- lo- robot look. It's his patch there. Oh, the Mandalorians. Yeah. That's not necessarily Boba Fett. That's Mandalorians. But that's the one he rocked. Yeah. It's, it's a, still... It's a Mandalorian. It's his clan. It's like... There's a planet called Mandalore, and there were Mandalorians, and they were like... 
a serious threat against the Jedi and all that. Okay. They weren't bad, and then... But still, they yeah. put that in there. They didn't have to now, put that I, in Now, I there. think this robot plays a crucial role. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's just, like, a guide. And then we get this shot that we've been talking <laughs> about... keep shutting down. Guys, <laughs> they don't sound <laughs> real. <laughs> I'll quickly throw this theory out. We don't run too long on time. But they get that shot of Luke with the R2. He's obviously on that fiery planet. With some people thought it's Solus. I don't think so. I think they proved that's wrong. Wait, Luke with Solus. R2? Yeah, when he puts his hand on him. Like, you see R2, right? Yeah. And there's that robot that puts his hand on him. Mm. That's Luke, because he has that robot hand. I wonder why he oh, went yes. for the robot hand. Because his old hand looked like a human hand. And well, well maybe it's it. been skinned off from movie to movie, right? And if he's in hiding, he's not going to be like, hey, I'm back, I just need a new hand. Like, it's going to like, oh, well, fuck. Like, I guess I'm rocking the robot hand. What a cheapo. Not cheapo, he's protecting <laughs> himself. But anyways, so this is a theory that I have as well. Well, no, in iRobot, he has the spray paint. Maybe he just ran out of spray paint. <laughs> I don't think Crossover? that's Crossover? No. Crossover. Will Smith? Will Smith. We're crucial Shia on time. Could crucial, on time. <laughs> crucial on time. Crucial on time. So anyway, he's on that planet, and obviously the First Order with Kylo Ren and Captain Phasma. That's Captain Phasma for you right there, Dylan. The Boba Fett Captain knockoff. Captain Phasma? Yeah. Phasma? They're obviously on the same planet, and it looks like they're burning stuff down. So what I think, and I think you agree, do you think they're looking for Luke? That Kylo knows Luke's out and they're like, I gotta stop him, because maybe he knows Finn's out there, or Ray, whatever. He might know, hey, Luke might try and stop me now, or try might try and someone else. So I think he is searching and trying to kill him. And then they do throw, show a shot of Kylo Ren slicing something. It's either him just mad at like one of these like homes or whatever, or I think what could be like a big grip and a big like uh, heartbreaker is if he were to kill R2. And if he were to find R2 and he were to kill him, the reason I think that they have BB-8, he could replace him. I think it's kind of weird if they have both droids together for a whole trilogy, and this is the new trilogy, so I wouldn't be surprised. And what a, what a way to make you hate Kylo Ren. Everyone would hate Kylo Ren. Imagine if he just chopped R2 in a bunch of pieces or threw him in lava. Like, you would despise Kylo Ren. That's one of our all-time favorite characters. So I'm not going to stamp my approval on the R2 thing, but he's they're definitely looking for Luke. Oh, yeah, for sure. And you think just to take him out? Yeah, I mean, he's the only real threat, really, to Kylo Ren. Because he can um, train other Jedi. Yeah, and I can see why the First Order would make it a huge... Yeah. Um, um, he took like, down the Empire. Yeah, and He's the Chosen huge. One. Technically, he's still the Chosen One, right? Cause he is. I thought uh, Darth Vader was. No. Because Darth they, Vader rubbed out no, the Force. But, but not real. It depends how you bring it. I think people read into that, the Bounce of Force, like being light and good. I think Bounce of Force just means, like... Hey, we're just all chilling and we're safe. Like, I don't think they literally mean, like, we need bad guys and good guys. Like, I think they just need, like, everyone's safe. But, no, because in the original trilogy, they call Luke the Chosen One as well. Because the way they look at it was they thought Anakin was, but, like, the prophecy was wrong. It was his son. Because, like, they call him that, right? Like, Yoda does and whatnot. And that's the thing. In this movie, they haven't called anybody. But what if it's, like, no, just kidding, it's Luke's son. Well, Boom, but that's what I was going to bring up. In this one, not even a word about the Chosen One. So that's why I feel like Luke is still the Chosen One. So so there's Trish and Plant. There's that awesome swipe shot of Kylo Ren just killing somebody. We got Ray crying for some reason. For Stuff. Han Solo. And he thinks Han Solo's deaf. I don't... I Wait, think it's what? just somebody. What do you think? I was totally Han Solo lying there. Oh. Oh, right. That scene? Yeah. I think it's Chewie. And then we got, <laughs> then we got uh, Chewie and Han and um, Finn. They just have their hands up, so obviously they've been caught at some point. Just more space battles here. Poe. Oh. But we don't know when this takes place. Well, that could be the end of the movie. That's on their planet for sure. Like the, uh, first the evil planet? planet. Yeah. That's why I think it could be the end of the movie, which is going to be a classic, like... Star Wars 4, 6, and 1. We have to end it in a space battle where we got to shoot something through a small hole. Ray is shooting, which obviously Ray is not in Jakku anymore. And that yeah, shot that right there. That planet is like the grassy planet like where the Resistance was on, where Poe looks at... What the, is that, where the Ewok is? Endor? I don't yeah. think that's Endor. No, but it looks like that, I'm saying. Like, it's grassy. It does, yeah. That's not my only problem with this. Is So far, they have this icy planet, they have a sand planet, and they have this... The green planet, but they've all renamed them. So it's kind of weird that where were these plants before, right? Like, I don't... They named them already? Well, no, but they've named Jakku. Yeah, but not the icy And that's just, like, kind of a rip-off of Tatooine, in my opinion. And the icy planet will have a name, and it's not Hoth. And if that's not, um... What is it going to always forget Endor? about? Endor. Endor. I always want to think Ender B. Ewoks if it's, if still it's not, play a part in the final battle. It, oh, God. If it's not Ender... 
Endor. 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 Of Endor. Then it's just another one. But anyways, more space battles. That's my favorite shot of the trailer is when Kyle, in both trailers, when Kyle Ryan turns around, they just do it so you good. He looks so powerful. Force. Yeah, you can see it ripple. Um, lots of space battles. People are talking about, they don't know when that shot is. That one right there where it's, it blew up and the Equal, guys were flying back. That's, that was on an Imperial ship. You could tell by the mouse But right. some people are wondering if that was from like the originals because it looks like older gear if that's in this one because if it's in this one then obviously the Imperials oh it's definitely are... from this I'm pretty sh- sure like, what uh, some people gear? everyone has pointed at the computers being like the older like original trilogy like gear they were using so some people think it could maybe be like a flashback or something like that because it would be kind of weird if they showed them Plero ship losing in the this trailer in my opinion like this trailer has done a lot of stuff but has not showed the dark side or the bad guys being at a disadvantage at any point I am I don't know. I mean, like, it's shown them be, like, really, really strong, and it has to show, like, a little bit of weak weakness for them, too. Like, they're not totally invincible. No, but you want them... I feel like you kind of should make them a little bit like that, because they got to make a big comeback. They've had 30 years of being down, pretty much, so... And then the shot uh, before this was Luke... Or, no, not Luke and Han crying. It was Leia crying, and Han's holding her. I like that. I, it insinuates that they've still been together this whole time, which is good. My big concern was they were going to play it off as, like, Han, like, left her and, like, oh, and they would, like, get, they'd make a big deal of them getting back together and be like, oh, like, this is just unnecessary. Like, put them together. Because they do that in shows and movies a lot. I feel like when they do sequels that jump, that these couples, like, that fell in love are broken up and you got to watch all over again them fall in love. But it looks like they're together. You think they're still together? I think so. And I think she's crying maybe to back up the fact that they found out that Kylo Ren, their son, is alive and is maybe... You think that would happen in this movie, though? Yeah, I think it could. Unless, like, you know how they do trailers, sometimes they add extra scenes from, like, the next movie or yeah. whatever. Maybe that was a scene from the next movie? I, I don't know. No, they haven't filmed that. They haven't started filming that yet. Oh, uh, okay. No, they just started filming some stuff. Maybe Chewie dies. That actor is older. Oh. I'm just saying. And then the last shot... Which is a big one. You got Finn and Kylo Ren facing off, which could be, I think, like the middle of the movie, end of the movie, something like that. And then the most important thing is obviously you don't see his face, but Kylo has his mask off. And yeah, I feel like that just has to do with it being a big reveal or something like that. And yeah, that's it. And then it ends with Leia saying that the Force is... He's gonna say like she's, it's calling out to you, or you gotta let it in. Let it in. Yeah, yeah. and who, you, I think she's talking to Ray because in the second trailer, remember Leia like gives her uh, gives somebody a lightsaber, and it looks like female hands almost. What do you? Oh, in the second trailer, that was like a little creature thing, like lifting the lightsaber up to Leia. Oh, I didn't think so. I thought I saw human hands. She was that. It was someone like little, like reaching up. Because even there's like. There's but that, if it's there little, is that scavenger person that is with Ray, who who is little, I remember. There's a picture of BB-8 getting put into like up satcheled onto this creature, and there's a little creature up on top, and she the creature's with Ray. Oh no! And I, don't I was remember. I thought that maybe that creature maybe found the lightsaber and was giving it to Leia. Mm. Either way, I I st- possibly, but I still think she, either way Leia's talking to Ray at the end of the trailer there. Really? I don't think she's talking to Finn because I feel this like is, isn't it the same voice as the beginning voice? No, talking to Ray? it's no, that's Lupa, and that's I can show you after. That's Lupa, and that's Leia for sure. Okay. Yeah. So I I think she's talking to Ray. I think because she's gonna have a similar story to Luke in the fourth one, and I feel like Star Wars is ready to have like a strong female B. A Jedi. Obviously, there's been female Jedi's, but none of them were like main characters in any other movies. So I'd love to see like a like a duo like that, like Finn be a Jedi and Ray both be Jedi's like back to back. I would love to go see against that. Kylo and Poe. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. And then I think that was pretty much it. That was the end of the trailer. And then I guess the last thing I had, or these two questions, was where do you think Luke is right now? Celest. And you think he's just hanging no. out there? No. Um, well, what do you what do you think? You go first. You've been quiet over that. You've taken a lot in so far. Uh, where do I think he is? Yeah, what, why is Luke nowhere in the posters and on the trailers? What's he doing right now? Obviously, he's alive. They've been talking about him, but... Well, you see, after the death of Shmi, he really... <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know who Shmi was! Oh, he knows the legend of Shmi. <laughs> no, I have no idea where he is. I think, you know, he's probably just hiding... Somewhere. Yeah, just chilling. Trying I don't to know where, safe. though. 
I don't know the names of the planets. Well, we don't even know them. Some of them are new, so we don't know them all, actually. Maybe he's on Endor. Endor B. I, I, that's my guess. That's my prediction. Ewoks. With the Ewoks. Ewoks. Chilling. Yeah. Getting high at the Ewoks. <laughs> what about you, Taylor? Where do you think Luke um, is? I, I really don't know. Like, I think... If you look at all the Jedi that have gone to exile, Yoda went to Dagobah because it was some place that could keep him safe. Like the, it was covered in dark force energy. Like no one could sense him. And Obi Wan went to Tatooine because he knew Darth Vader would have no reason to go there because there was so much pain there, and he would never want to go back there and relive that kind of pain. So I think Luke has gone somewhere that's just somewhere where he'd be hidden away and just he can do his own uh, meditations and just maybe commune with. Uh, Maybe even Qui Gon, but Obi Wan, Yoda, and he doesn't know Qui Gon. He's not talking to Qui Gon. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Who are you? You might be. And I hope he's not talking to Anakin, even though it's, of course, faux. You think? It? You think Anakin would come back? Like he he can come back as a ghost. You think he would come back and be like Kylo? Like, come on, buddy, don't don't be doing this. You're wrecking your life here. Don't, don't do drugs. I feel like you would have to <laughs> met the person. And maybe Kylo doesn't have that power to talk to Force Ghosts yet, right? Yeah, but Anik or Luke never learned that power. It was just it was the Jedi that died knew how to tap into it. That I came guess. back. I feel like that's not gonna happen unless Luke dies, and which Quabble, brings us into huge. which brings us to, yeah. Well, so is well, what do you think? Do you think? <laughs> I think same thing. He's hiding. I think he could be maybe bouncing around. I don't know if he's specifically on one planet i could see him more always going somewhere else and having like an escape plan because especially i think in that scene where it looks like they're after him i think they could be like this close and he like gets maybe away he's a, one of the knights of ren like uh that no don't be that now you're just talking about like him being kylo no this like as, as a close. spy like spying on kylo i don't think so yeah. i think kylo would send At some them. point in the movie we'll see him pull off his helmet secretly i'm your uncle <laughs> no, i was here the whole time i fooled you yeah, I but think yeah, I think either way he's in hiding, possibly jumping back to back. Um, and this is the final question we'll end on. Do you think any of the original characters dies? We've talked about this a bit. For ever since this movie announced, I thought for sure Luke was gonna die, but I don't think so anymore because he's been not in the poster. He hasn't been in the trailer. I think he might pop up third act and either save them. I think, well, no, I think he might save them or something like that or get them away, and that's when he's like, I'm going to take Finn or Ray or whoever and train them. For a while, I thought he was going to go Obi Wan round and die, but I'm thinking Han might. If I had to put my money, I think, I think, no matter what, I think one original character is going to die. I think they have to make Kylo mm-hmm. Ren seem, it could just be Chewbacca, but I feel like for a while, I always had 100% it was Luke, but now not so much. If he was in all these trailers, I'd be like, oh yeah, he's dead, but I feel like they're going to hold him secret and then. He's going to come at 7, and then you have another reason to go back for 8. Like, really see Luke. And that's where I could see Luke dying as an 8 and facing off of Kylo. But I feel like Luke's main story is really going to play out in 8. I feel like seven's going to be about finding Luke Skywalker, and 8 will be about who Scoo- Scoo- Walker. Who Skywalker Screw is Walker. now. Screw Walker. That's Sh- Screw Walker. Sh- <laughs> Screw Walker. <laughs> hey, how's your mom? She's <laughs> Screw Walker. But that's... Uh, so I'm predicting Han because... Um, Harrison Ford for a while said he didn't want to do any more Star Wars. J.J. talked him into it, and he looks phenomenal. He looks like he's doing a great job acting wise. But I think he is around like seventy days. I think he's probably he just probably doesn't want to do too many. So I think he's like, oh, I'll come back for one, finish off the story, and that'll be it. And I feel like that would be a big heartstring moment too. He's gonna get the Bilbo treatment. He's just gonna get sent <laughs> off to some mysterious land. No, he's not gonna be. He has to die. He has kids, right? So I don't think he's just gonna mysterious land it. But I think. I think he. There's a good chance he dies. They could all make it. And it like, I think Leia's gonna die for sure. Really? Mm. I think Leia's safe. No. I think she's, she's safe, safe to the very end. I don't even think she dies in this trilogy. I don't think so. I shot down. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we didn't even mean to. I I agree with you. I think I think I could definitely see Han yeah. dying. I mean, like, I know, like you say, they're taking some stuff from the old like what that was like the original story and yeah technically Chewie died before Han so maybe they could do something like that I maybe. mean even at one part you see Chewie's arm is like 
a bit hurt, so you know he's getting. And maybe that's why Leia and Han are kind of embracing there, right? Yeah, and it's one of those things where it would kind of be fitting if they both died in the same movie, because it would be kind of weird to see a whole movie with Chewbacca without Han or Han without Chewbacca. Well, it's like C three PO and R two. Yeah, like it is weird when you see them separately. Where's C three PO? Is he in any? We haven't. He has not been around at all. He was on the movie poster. He's on the poster with. He has a red arm now too. We don't know what the deal that is, but he's talking to Kylo, and that's what Kylo's slashing at. I, I don't know about that. I feel like I hope C three PO has said something. What if C three PO is the hero? He's a Jedi. Then that's just maybe, as bad as the prequels. Maybe he's a Knight of Ren this whole time. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> what were oh but no I could see like Chewie dying in the second act and then the third act Han like sacrificing himself so like Luke could get away. So what happened if like they found Luke? They're like what if he's on like that ice planet where like Finn is fighting blah blah. blah. Yeah, either way. Han has to get in a position where he has to sacrifice himself so he knows Finn and Rey could go with Luke. And I think that would be a really great send-off to the character, and it would be really heartbreaking. It would show, like, how far that character's come from being, like, a vile son of a bitch who shoots, fir- shoots first to a guy that sacrifices himself for, like, the greater good, so... Mm-hmm. so Yeah, I could see that. And you think Luke is safe? I think Luke For is, this movie? Uh, well, for this movie, yeah, I think he's absolutely safe. I think and eight I, is eight. He's in I trouble. I see eight. He's in trouble. Like I absolutely <laughs> love the idea of like near the end of the movie, you see Luke coming in to save the day, and you yeah. got the Star Wars like ten minutes left, and it's Luke with his lightsaber out, just going crazy. Yeah. Kylo Ren gets his ass kicked. No, I think he. No. I think he. What loses. if that happened? Then Kylo just destroyed Luke, and that was the ending. I don't think he could destroy Luke. Luke's Luke's had a long time to train and practice. I think he, but I. Th- I feel like when Luke goes, Kyle's gonna be the one to do it. I feel like he'll be the one to kill Luke. But I think his lightsaber would... is just better. Uh, well, that's true. He does. It is a pretty legit lightsaber. Yeah. I, I think Luke would. He would, if he wants to die, it'll be willingly. Yeah, like Obi Wan style. But I still think Ren has to be the one to do it. I think if he's a, if he's related to him, that would be very fitting and very like vile. Because I feel like as much as they say he's a complex character, you're still gonna hate. It Kyle could be Poe though. You never. Whoever know. he turns, maybe. If he turned Poe, yeah. maybe Poe could do it. True. You think anyone dies? The original cast. Yeah, Leia. I think Leia. You're all right. You're right. That one. Why? Why do you think Leia? Luke. Both of them in this movie. You're a mm-hmm. rebel. Maybe not in seven. Okay. Who do you think in seven? Oh, in seven. Yeah, Chris just Malone? in seven. Yeah. Um, definitely not Leia. Not yet. You think she'll make it to like eight or nine? Uh. If so she, you don't. If she's you, lucky. you think people will die, but maybe not I think in R- this movie. I think I think you're right. R two is gonna get it. Yeah, he could. Cause BB eight, uh, right? It feels like it's kind of a replacement. Like, hey, kids, like this cool that role unless R2 just you don't see him you see him like maybe one scene and he sticks with Luke true like because we didn't too. R2 was on the movie poster right I think so he's probably just next to C3 because I remember BB-8 was on there but I, I swear I don't remember seeing actually R2. I don't think R2 is so maybe R2 and Luke are kind of just like a duo in that sense maybe they're just kind of like you won't see much of them in the behind the scenes yeah. and then maybe C- Luke uh, attaches R2 to his back as a jetpack he lost, so cool. he lost that ability. He lost that ability. How did he lose the ability? He didn't use it in the originals. Yeah, but the prequels still count. This need. I know, but it. I feel like they took him off. Either way, <laughs> you were in that. I so think Leia's think... dying at some point. Yeah, Luke's definitely gone in seven. Luke's done at some R2's point. R two is done in seven. Everyone's just dead. Um, you think in seven? And Solo is getting the Bilbo treatment, and that's my prediction. You think Luke's dead in seven? I thought I heard right there. Um, seven or eight. Yeah. I think Luke for sure is 100 percent gonna die in this trilogy, but I don't think it'll be Ray. Actually, yeah, probably not in seven if they haven't shown a whole lot of him yet. Yeah, unless that's just one big red herring and he dies dies five minutes in. <laughs> what if that? Horrible. What if the movie started with Ren hunting him down? Oh man, what if it did? What if that opening scene that him slicing is that's the opening scene? And it's like all oh, all hope is lost, and that's when they really because they do start to take over, Ooh. right? Let's watch what the if they, again. What if they kill Luke ten minutes in, and that's why they're like, we can take this bitch over now, and that's why that would be a maybe that that's be a, why Han Solo and uh, Leia are crying. Yeah. Oh man. I've never thought that my brain just oh if that oh happened that's the geekverse theory yeah that is the ofi- yeah official geekverse theory I'd say so that's it that's all our questions we could talk about this we could have like a twenty four hour podcast <laughs> about all the theories and whatnot but we just want to get out there because it's much easier than putting it on a tweet or Facebook just mm-hmm. listen to this everyone's excited we're excited um yeah. Guys, it's only two months away. So Our tickets are pre-ordered. Yeah, they're pre-ordered. They're ready to go. So we're excited. Day after. We're seeing it on Thursday. So the Friday, we'll for sure be meeting up and mm-hmm. doing a review. There's no way. If people can't make it, too bad. We're, too, we're doing it. Like, we got to do it. Like It'll probably be like a 
like well over two hours, I think. Like, a review? Yeah, because I mean, this Unless was just, the movie's, this was a two minute trailer, and it was Unless an hour the movie's long review. terrible, and then, <laughs> and then we, let's not talk about it. <laughs> Fantastic Four. Oh, I let's not get into that. But anyway, so yeah, um, if you have any more Star Wars cravings, you can go back and listen to our Star Wars reviews and commentary tracks. We got one and two up right now. Uh, next month, well, when you're listening to this right now, it's in November. So three and four will be coming out sometime around then. We'll be posting that, and then in December, in time for Force Awakens, five and six will be coming out. So we got all that stuff coming out. They're pretty fun. Give them a listen. There's like this insightful stuff, but at the same time, we crack a few jokes at a couple people's moms' <laughs> expense and whatnot. Anakin, but <laughs> other than that, um, Taylor, where can they find us for all the Star Wars updates and everything else this holiday season? Well. This holiday season, all you Star Wars fans, you can go onto the internet, of course, <laughs> onto Facebook. Or Safari, if you have my Or Safari, Google Chrome, whatever your pleasure. <laughs> Firefox. Internet Fire- Explorer. We're on Firefox, too, people. <laughs> Tell people about this on MSN. <laughs> go find um, our MSN Geek first page. Um, we're in the search bar at <laughs> type in Geekverse Podcast, everybody. Oh, when we're famous enough, we're going to get a shirt in the search bar. <laughs> and then on Twitter, you can find us at GeekVerseCast. We're always tweeting out weekly updates, news, schedule things. And on iTunes, give us a like, give us a review, uh, subscribe. That helps us out big time. And Dylan, you want to take us home with some comment or anything you want to throw out there? Yeah, th- thanks for, for, wa- for watching. This is a really good time. What is that I, supposed I don't know. to I, I thought I knew about Normally, it. Normally, someone really awkward does the outro, so I thought I'd try to do that too it worked it worked (laughs) it worked worked. may the force be with you everybody